Let me ask you a question. Do you want to lose the weight and never gain it back? I mean, who wants to walk backwards when you continue to walk forward closer and closer to your goals? So today, I'm going to give you a few key things that you must do in order to lose the weight and never gain it back. The number one is that you need to stop focusing on weight. You need to start focusing on trusting the process and focus on getting 1% better every single day. We must remember that this is a marathon. I mean, weight loss, weight gain is something that we're going to go through for the rest of our life. As long as we're eating, sleeping, and breathing, and moving, we're constantly going to have this struggle. So we have to understand that we don't have to do everything all at once. Don't treat it like a sprint, treat it like a marathon. Think about it, you just didn't gain the weight, you didn't gain 20 pounds in just a couple days or a couple weeks, even a couple months. For some of us, a 20 pound gain took anywhere from five to 10 years. Then we have to understand that we're not gonna lose that 10 to 20 pounds that we've gained over the five to, five to 10 years in a matter of like five to 10 days. Like it's going to take years of consistency. We've built up so many bad habits over the course of X amount of years that we have to spend just as much time reversing them. Just try it, go ahead. Get yourself on a crazy ultra lean diet, start working out for two hours a day and uh, you know, getting eight, nine hours of sleep. Like literally try doing all the right things right away. I guarantee you that your success rate is gonna be very low. Okay. Now, if we focus on one habit at a time, one belly burn challenge at a time, one workout at a time, and we focus on the course of decades, not even years, I'm talking decades of consistency, it's at that time your body is going to adjust on what you consistently do. So if you've been consistently gaining weight for the past five to 10 years, then we have to spend the next five to 10 years consistently focusing on the habits that then get rid of that weight, that then reduce your body fat, which then increase your muscle mass. So give it time, be consistent, get 1% better every single day, stop focusing on the weight. Number two, again, stop focusing on the weight and start focusing on getting stronger. I mean, the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism will be and the more calories that you're gonna burn 24 seven. Building muscle is the key to long-term success. So what do you need to do? You need to do a minimum of three workouts a week, okay? That's the minimum. Now the more, the better, okay? But you wanna keep them focused. Now when it comes to building muscle, you don't have to just lift heavy weights and rest and do a typical bodybuilding routine like you see all those Instagram hotties doing. That's not how they got there, okay? They don't show you the hard work that they put on the background. I know guys that are on social media and they talk about it's, you know, it's literally this easy, but yet I know their lifestyle is really hard. So you gotta understand the back end work that these Instagram hotties put into being an Instagram hottie. Now when it comes to getting stronger, stronger doesn't necessarily mean that you're lifting heavier and heavier weights every single time. To increase your muscle mass, you just need to overexert them. Now you don't have to overexert them always by lifting heavier weights, that's the simplest solution. But let's say that you're doing a class at Fit Club and on the, on the ropes you're, you know, you kind of just like, you know, you start about three seconds late and then you kind of like put the ropes down two seconds early and then you kind of like slaunter over to the next exercise. Like, <laughs> you know, you can push yourself a little bit harder and that's what it comes down to is just pushing yourself a little bit harder. Mindset, tell yourself that, man, I can definitely go harder than this. And even if you've got that little knee thing or you got the little hip thing or whatever it is, and you're like, oh, I can't jump anymore and you're just kind of standing there, you're just kind of doing this. Like attempt to do a little bit of jump and I'll tell you this, I've seen massive amounts of success from people that are way less physical able than you. I've had people that have never worked out that are 200 plus pounds overweight because their natural weight should be around 150, 160 based on their age, based on their gender, based on their abilities. And so they come in and like they've never ever gotten off the floor. And within one to two weeks, I have them doing full push-ups. And this is a person that has never ever pushed their body off the floor. 
So if somebody with all of those restrictions can do that, you as a capable, able body that's been even doing this for a couple of years now, you're capable. You're not going to, that knee's not going to go anywhere. That shoulder's not going to break off. Okay. Movement creates success and you need to gradually build it up into becoming more mobile to getting it stronger, but constantly doing the same thing. So for instance, never jumping and all you're doing is squats because you don't want to hurt that knee. Think about it. If your kid said, oh, well, math is too hard, daddy, or math is too hard, mommy. And then you're like, Come on, it's just one plus one. What's one plus one? And like, I don't know, it's hard. It, it makes it, it's, I don't want to think. Would you just tell your kid, okay, you don't have to learn anymore. That's like you. Stop giving up on yourself. Start challenging yourself. Don't give yourself a free pass. It's time to challenge yourself to work a little bit harder so that you can get a little bit stronger. So my second point is don't focus always on weight. Focus on being stronger. Focus on pushing yourself, literally 1% better every single day. And the last but not least is that you need to keep going even when you want to give up. Stubborn people are the ones who achieve success. Stubborn people are the ones that keep going even when you don't want to give up. So if you want to give success, then you have to stay persistent at it. Don't give yourself a free pass. Don't tell yourself, you know, okay, you know, maybe I'll start tomorrow. Don't tell yourself, well, this happened, so I need to do this. Like, be stubborn, be resilient, and continue to grow. You need to keep going. Just tell yourself, do one more day. Literally, the answer is one more day. Can you do one more workout? Can you do one more day of tracking your food? Can you push yourself and lift just a little bit heavier? So no matter how hard things get, be stubborn, tell yourself indifferently, continue to show up. Now, if you stick to these principles, you're going to be a completely different person by the end of the year. Give yourself 365 days to actually see improvements. So stop focusing on the weight and the scale and start focusing on all the other key areas that I told you. And come on, guys, you and I, let's focus on getting 1% better.